Hi. Hello. I'm Tessa. I'm Olivia. And welcome to Underdog Approved. In Underdog Approved, we judge movies, TV shows, and other stories on how they represent minorities, women, LGBT characters, and all underdogs. Then we give the story a score and our underdog rating. Today we're going to be talking about the TV show New Girl. New Girl is a TV show aired on Fox that has released six seasons since 2011. New Girl is a comedy about a girl named Jess who moves into an apartment with three single guys, Nick Schmidt and Winston. The four of them, as well as their old roommate coach, Jess's best friend, Cece, and all other weird people they come across over the course of the show, navigate their way through life one mishap at a time. Spoiler! <laughs> Beginning with women, this show passes the Bechdel test. Woo! A lot. Multiple times. Uh huh. Everyone's gender was a part of their personality, but it wasn't like all the girls were the same and all the guys were the same. They were all unique people with unique flaws and weird things about them and hateable mm -hmm. aspects of their personality. One of the best things about the show is it's one of those like a bunch of singles living in an apartment and the guys and the girls romances were treated like equally. It wasn't like guys had just hit on the girls. It wasn't one-sided at all. Yeah like they would all go mm -hmm. to the bar and like check out people. Yeah and the just girls were not there, seen like... as like the prize in any <laughs> oh, way. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> a great female character that they have her name's Elizabeth. The thing is that she doesn't care about what anyone else thinks of her. She's also like a little bit chubbier than the other girls. She's happy with who she is. She doesn't feel the need to like live up to like society's expectations yeah. of who she's supposed to be. She's totally her own person. Moving on to people of color. Here's the thing about Winston and Co. In the pilot of the show, there's the two white guys, Nick and Schmidt, and then there's the black guy, Coach. But then Coach mm -hmm. leaves. So after the first episode, they yanked him out. So they had to just like put in a new black guy. So, so Coach's yeah. personality was he was a coach and he was like a sports guy and he wore track suits all the time. When they replaced <laughs> him with Winston, they made Winston and like an ex pro basketball player. It seemed like both the black guys were like sports guys and it kind of was that. But then eventually in later seasons, they developed Winston's character a lot more and he like becomes a cop. His character changed drastically mm. from when you first met him because they actually figured out who Winston would be instead of just making him coach. There are a few episodes where they seriously talked about race. There's one episode where Winston, who is a cop, dates a black woman who protests the police and he tries to hide from her the fact that he's a cop. Near the end of the episode, Winston and Coach talk to Nick, who's like their white friend, about like their experiences with the police and stuff. This is something you can't understand because I'm not black. I love you, but you're white. I'm black. I understand where she's coming from. When I was a kid, we used to run from the police. Even if we did nothing wrong, it was just out of habit. Why haven't you ever told me? Because you'll never get it. How long have you been standing there? This issue really hits home with me, and I feel like I have a lot of thoughts and ideas that I need to get off my chest. Thank you, Coach. But I'm hungry. I skip breakfast and lunch is gonna be dumb as hell. Race talk snacks, race talk snacks. Gotta give me some race talk snacks. Then there was another whole episode about Schmidt, who was worried that Winston wasn't allowed to be his blackest <laughs> self, which is just Schmidt being like a little bit crazy and insensitive. White neck, brown CC. I'd like to have a frank discussion about race. Mm. Do you think that we're allowing Winston to be his blackest self? I'm not gonna do this. Okay, right make sure just Wait. gets these, okay? Guys, please, I'm being serious. Okay, Schmidt, I know that you're being serious, but look, Winston has been black his entire life. I think he knows how to handle it. Schmidt, being black means whatever I want it to mean. Yeah, the fact of the matter is, I live in a loft with three people who happen to be white, but believe you me, there is so much more that I find annoying about you that I haven't even gotten to race. A lot of times in shows and movies and things, uh, any character of color, whether they be a man or a woman, has to end up in a relationship with someone who is of the same heritage or the same race. Coach and Winston kind of ended up with more women of color than the white guys maybe did. Overall, it was pretty like mixed up, I would say. Yeah, and one of the main couples is Cece and Schmidt, which is a Jewish guy and an Indian woman. <laughs> Who's ever done that before? Yeah, they like, don't do their own thing. Cece being Indian and Schmidt being Jewish are like big things in the show. Like, especially with Cece, her first wedding, which she doesn't actually end up going through with, yeah. an arranged marriage, which was cool because you got to see the modern version of an Indian arranged marriage. They focused on that for a big chunk of the season. Yeah. Like, I learned a lot about it. Yeah, like, so that. Yeah. Schmidt's a Jew. Which is an ongoing theme in the show. Oh, yeah. There are whole episodes about Schmidt's Judaism, and they make so many great Jew jokes. Can I try on your uniform? No. This uniform is for official police business. <laughs> Woo! Okay, good, man. We got a 
code Jewish, code Jewish. You're under arrest. There's a limited number of LGBT characters, but I would say it's a pretty good number compared to a lot of shows that have been nominated. Yeah. We have Mike, the gay guy that works at Nick's bar, Sadie, Jess's lesbian friend, Schmidt's mom, and then her girlfriend, and then Reagan, who is the biggest LGBT character who is bi. So Reagan is like her own character. She's like all abrasive, like a lone wolf. There's a whole arc where Winston helps her break up with her ex-girlfriend and then she dates Nick later. And it is mentioned the first time you meet her, Cece and Reagan used to date. And at this point, Schmidt was really jealous of all the guys who hit on Cece. <laughs> when Schmidt found out that Cece and Reagan used to date, he treated her like he'd treat like any guy who had dated her. He was just like, step off of my woman. <laughs> and then we hooked up. Yeah, that's true too. Thanks. Well, you have good hands. No! Back off, beach house! So you're totally fine, huh? Are you freaking out because she hooked up with a woman? That's so boring. Not at all. I completely appreciate the fluidity of sexuality. I'm basically a woman myself. You're losing the thread. I am freaking out, Regan, because you're trying to steal my fiance. There's a lot of humor based off of every LGBT character, but it wasn't like offensive humor. It wasn't like to make them feel bad for being no. gay. With Mike, the guy at the bar, and Sadie, just his friend, the humor about them was mostly them being able to be so loud about it, which was actually kind of a good thing. Another thing is the guys in the show are allowed to be just as emotional and like oh, stereotypically yeah. feminine. I can't say the alphabet unless I'm singing the song and I never learned how to love. But enough about me, guys night. Let's go, gentlemen. Man, that, is, that is heavy. Hey Nick, that's something we should talk about. I mean, what are we gonna do, sit around all night and talk about love? <laughs> I wanna know what love is. Want you to show me? Schmidt feels secure in his sexuality that he'll constantly kiss Nick <laughs> on the lips. Nick will push him off because Nick is He's emotionally illiterate. And Schmidt <laughs> just loves him so much. Mm -hmm. There's no real mental illness or disability talk throughout the whole thing, except for a couple times. Jess is claustrophobic and she teaches Winston about how like normal panic attacks are. And there's just like well, this one like kind of weird thing. They have outside Dave who is like a kind of mentally ill homeless stereotype. Yeah. yeah. You really gotta do that. Not not great. Yeah. Like come it, on guys. It's such a great show. You didn't need us. Yeah. Yeah. A really cool <laughs> thing about New Girl is that all of the main characters have the unique family arrangement. Coach talks about growing up as an army brat. They don't really go into it except for when he moves out of the loft. Winston was raised by a single mom and his father's kind of absent. Cece's dad died when she was in middle school. I've never gone through anything like this. Yeah, well I have. What happened? My dad died when I was 12. That's it. The only way to get through it is to get through it. Jess's parents are divorced. They have this talk about Jess just needing to kind of like move on and like, I know she wants to have like the perfect family, but it's just not really gonna happen. Yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi. This is everybody. Hi. Oh, come on over. I just want to give you all a big hug. Oh, dear God. A hug ball. Dad. Oh, hello, Bob. You're early. You know what I'm thankful for today? Divorce. In like season two, Nick's dad dies. And then for the next few episodes, it doesn't go away. He's like clearly dealing with it in his own way. So Schmidt has a lot of family stuff going on. His dad left when he was really young. When Schmidt and Cece are planning their wedding, Jess accidentally reconnects Schmidt with his dad. And it's definitely one of the main reasons Schmidt cares so much about what people think. It's a big part of who Schmidt is. We give New Girl a 55 on the underdog scale, which is underdog approved. If you have any thoughts on New Girl, if we were wrong about any facts, I we doubt we were. Yeah, we watch New Girl constantly. <laughs> if you have any show or movie or anything you want us to talk about, comment below. Comment below. Let us know. We love people. Hey everyone, it's Tessa. I hope you enjoyed whatever video you just watched. If you did, why don't you hit that like button and comment below. And to see more content like this in the future, subscribe to this channel and click that bell icon. For every person who does, I will draw a personalized picture. Hey, I won't actually be doing that right. Okay, great.